Fun and games, man. Fun and games. Here is your top tip for today. I don't know if this is standard coming from the factory. You never know from Sully Hill. Buongiorno, mi amigos. How is everything out going out there for you? Look where we are now, back in a garage. You know why? I'll tell you why. This bad boy is coming out. That's just the start, man. There's something bigger going on here. I don't know if you know this, but if you have your clutch pedal working properly, no big deal, right? When suddenly it goes down halfway and it becomes really hard, and you've got a little millimeter of play to get it in gear, that's probably not how it left the factory, right? So what we got here is a little issue, and we've tried to look at the master and slave cylinder. We've checked the oil. Those are all functioning properly. So we suspect it might be a thrust bearing. So what I'm going to do now, take a prop shafts off, take the whole gearbox out, get to the clutch. What do you think of that? Something to do on your day off while you're traveling around, right? Luckily, uh, we ended up here. I've got to thank Rob again. I mean, you're always coming to my rescue in this respect. Um, so what I'm doing now is getting my hands a bit dirty, doing a lot of um, bolts and bolts and more bolts, 9 sixteenths, you know the thing, right? So we're going to go ahead and do that. We've got the back prop shaft off. That's a start. Now we do the front. And the big boy is the gearbox. So let's see how we get on. Kijk eens even waar we mee bezig zijn, hè? Heerlijk, jongens. So here we have the whole interior of the vehicle, even <laughs> removing the floorboards of the driver's side. Here we're struggling with the last few bolts for the belt housing. As you can see, most of them are up. Two more left. And they were there, man. Well, check it out. This is how far we are into the car. I don't think we can go any further without getting into the engine. So this is the flywheel housing. This is your starter motor that comes in and out when you start the car. And in here is a little bush. And that little bush is what we need to get out. I don't know if you can see that properly. So while we're here, we might as well just replace that. While we're replacing the clutch discs and the pressure plates, all of the other stuff, let's get in here, see how we can get that out. And there's a really interesting way to do this, something you may not have seen before. In today's version of baking white bread, here we are in the Land Rover. Yeah. How do we get that out? I just saw a little groove in it. You can see that there. Actually, it's not even that bad, man. Look at that for some excellent sawing with our little machine. This little bad boy right in there and this little I think it's bronze it's quite soft how did we then pull it out one of these bad boys stuck that in there behind it and just pull it right out which was nice and easy excellent result yeah look at that that needs a bit of cleaning man do we recognize what this is and should it look like this I'm not sure it should <laughs> What about this piece here? Nice, huh? So as you can see, something wasn't very kosher. So this arm, I don't know if this is standard coming from the factory, you never know from Sully Hill. <laughs> so this was grinding. You can see that there, that pin there. So this whole piece is missing on this side, which is really weird. That was fine on this side. Here it was starting to groove in there, also causing the thrust bearing to come to sit skew. So it's not fully round anymore. That's the problem about pushing the clutch pedal in halfway. And then it just got stuck 
and you couldn't change gears anymore. So what do we need to get here? We need to do quite a bit of work, man. Check it out. <laughs> Some parts here. You recognize all that? Look at all that air conditioning, man. Isn't that great? So, Naomi, thank you. No problem. <laughs> the handyman, but the handy girl. Very well Thanks. done. Good handyman, definitely. If you need help with your Land Rover, then you call Naomi. So here we have the gearbox. Yeah, now we have to order some parts and then we will start putting it back together again. It was quite a mission to get out because we didn't know this the first time. Have you ever done this before? Let me know down below. We had the whole box, gearbox out under the car. And then we figured out to loosen these off the chassis, right? And then it just popped right out, put a wiggling and it pulled right out of the of the engine as well. So that was cool. There it is, one LT77 and an LT230. Very good shape, very well oiled on the outside. So let's see if we can get it all back together again, because that's taken us, well we started at about 10 o'clock. So it's about six, seven hour job to get this far when you're starting from scratch and you keep taking more and more parts apart even down to this little thing that had to come with the gearbox as well. Well, here's the bell housing. And while I'm cleaning this a little bit, look what I found here. That's our missing piece, broken piece. Look at it, it's just, that whole side just come right out. So very helpfully, the people who supplied us with the new clutch kit gave us a locator pin, which is very important. And also, this is your best friend, man. Ram Ranneter. You can figure it out online. Well, there it is, tightened up. All six bolts here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now this whole assembly is tightly onto the uh, flywheel, holding the clutch in the right place. Now we can remove our centering pin. And now it's ready for the bell housing, which is cool. So, in English, there's clips here. Clip onto here, and this whole thing pivots. These are little swivels over here that hooks into here. Here we have our old pin, which comes from the slave cylinder. He has the little retaining plastic clip, which keeps it in place until it's mounted. And once it's mounted, it's under tension, so that should be okay. And then this goes in here like this. You can see this. And it just clips on there. That's that. And this little bad boy goes on here. 
So there we have it. There is the thrust bearing. It all works. If we push in our pin at the bottom there from the slave cylinder, then everything should move. So that looks pretty convincing. Now we have to get everything up there. I have to get it to mate up to the engine, which is about, let's call it half a meter. Well guys, check this one out, man. This is probably the toughest thing I have done on our vehicle ever. Getting that bell housing back onto the motor, that was the toughest job we have ever experienced. It took us a whole day, can you believe that? And that was because we got it all together um, once before. We were working with blocks, we were working with jacks, trying to lift it, get it in the right position, move it forward. It obviously has to get it in the right angle and just get in there, and that was really, really tough to do. And then when we did that, we found that the pin, which is located onto your fork, which is pushed by the slave cylinder, was stuck trying to get it out and it flicked off and it landed up inside the bell housing so we could start again good fun huh so what we did then is take it all apart again fix all that make sure it didn't happen again try and put it back together and we just didn't be able to do it so here is your top tip for today you've seen it already engine hoist man right through the middle the only way to do this because you can get it move it and it's hanging and it's pretty cool if you've got it on blocks and on jacks you try and move it and push it the blocks fall the jacks fall over all of that stuff it doesn't move very well this is ideal never thought of that didn't know it was in this garage which is a brilliant idea so thankfully all the bolts are on now bell housing is good now we can put everything back together again find the various parts and see where they belong again and then give it a go man let's have a look at the old clutch I'm no expert we all know that right this yeah let's have a look at this this thing normally it lasts pretty good this thing is very tough all it has to do is compress when you push the clutch in the pedal and that's it, it seems pretty in good nick this however is a different story. Now you let me know what you find of this. So I think we did pretty good to replace this one because look at this man, this doesn't look as it should from the factory, right? You let me down below. And also while we're driving, you had this little, especially when it's really hot and you pick up, especially on a hill, you're trying to pull away, you got a lot of juddering when the clutch tries to take. So you've got to really play with the pedals a little bit, be really mindful of what you're gonna do with it. You can't just let it slip. Is it that? There was just a little rat, it's like a, a zinging noise, if that is, that's the right one. I'm not sure if that was from this or from the... Oh, the springs seem okay, let's just play here. And I don't know about the surface. If you can see that. Is that still kosher? Let me know down below, man. Well, check at that, guys. Everything has been reinstalled. The whole housing around the gear lever, the front bell housing, obviously the floor where everything came out of, everything back in its place. We have one or two screws left over. Have you ever had that before? I think you have. What I have been told to do by management is to clean the seat covers so that rows are being soaked as this at this point because they're covered in grease and defoil wonder how that happened one quick test drive later and we have a result man thumbs up for me i'll tell you what bit of adjustment here as you all know I actually turned that all the way down and it was a little bit too tight, so I was slipping a little bit in fourth gear. Now I've loosened it up a bit to about where it was. And that's pretty good. I feel good with that. 
cover goes back on. Need to find some screws for that, otherwise you're gonna get cold feet in winter, man. And once again, it's one of those double little projects. To those who've done this before, you can probably do it in a couple of hours with a couple of mates. Those of you who haven't attempted this at all and think this is beyond your capabilities, well, here we are. This is the first time I did it with a bit of a help and it went pretty smoothly. Uh, except for getting that thing back onto the bale housing in that little bronze washer. That was the mission of the whole thing. For the rest, you're basically unbolting your prop shafts, the big uh, side chassis member, and trying to get all the bolts off the bell housing. And you take the whole thing off in one go. And that's about it. So basically, if you take it to a garage, here's another tip. That's what you're paying for. You're paying for them to unbolt stuff. But hey, at least you know it comes back in one piece. What I do like here is that the garage who we bought everything from, they supplied the uh, locating pin for the um, clutch plate, which was very nice. Everything went in. And the other big thing that you may have a bit of trouble with, I'm speaking to you guys in England mostly because I have a little experience with that. This is a dry defender. Nothing was stuck, nothing was rusted on, all the bolts came off, nothing snapped, nothing broke. So we had a lot of luck in that respect. But you make your own luck, right? So guys, here it is. It's working again. We have a clutch. It works much smoother than the other one. No more juddering along the way. All of that's cool now. So now we can go and drive in peace for the next 10, 20 years. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this one, hope you learned a little bit, I did, I certainly learned a lot. Going to this blind and just doing it and getting on with it and in the end a result which I'm really chuffed with. Thanks for watching guys, leave your comments down below, please let me know what I did well and I could have done better. Uh, catch you on the next one and keep rolling. One key quick, one, one quick. Buongiorno people. Look at that, guys. What is this thing? So this was also a little bit of an abbreviated video because I was trying to figure out what we were doing more than I had time to do some filming about what we were doing.